With more than a decade of development, Seven Days has accomplished more than our team or critics could have ever imagined. After nearly 12 years, many consider Seven Days to be the crown jewel of survival games on the market today. We've seen our game and audience grow and evolve over the years. It's been shown at trade shows and had countless early access releases. We've had a few speed bumps along the way, but we think the team, community, and game are ready for the next steps. I'm Richard Hunick, co-founder of The Fun Pimps and creator of Seven Days to Die. And I'm going to share the details about Seven Days to Die, leaving early access and the launch of version 1.0. referred to 1.0 as Alpha 22, but internally our plan has always been for Alpha 22 to be version 1. It's been the source of a lot of excitement for the team and what the future holds for the game. What does that mean for the game? It means everything we promised is still coming. We haven't forgotten about our remaining Kickstarter goals and the features we promised over the years. We are still planning on supporting 7 Days to Die, as we always have. Many of those features will be outlined on our roadmap. Future alpha updates will turn into major content patches. We will still have experimental builds with stable releases going to consoles and other PC markets once they're ready. So when does 1.0 launch? We're currently planning for an experimental release in late May and a stable 1.0 launch in June. We'll have exact release dates as we get closer. With the launch of Stable 1.0, the current retail price of the game will increase to match the cost of the new console edition, which we'll cover later. If you currently own 7 Days to Die on PC or purchase it before 1.0's launch, then nothing will change. You will still get all major free updates coming. The only real change is that anyone who has not purchased the game by the launch of 1.0 will have to purchase it at a new price. Speaking of sales, we're running a last chance week-long deal starting next Monday on Steam. We are sharing this because we wanted to give all players the opportunity to purchase 7 Days on Steam at the lowest discount before the price goes up. This week-long sale will start April 22nd, so if you're still on the fence after 10 years, it's never been a better time. The number one comment we hear on social media is, when is the new 7 Days to Die console version coming out? Folks, you won't have to wait much longer. The game looks great and runs surprisingly smooth. And that means 7 Days to Die PC 1.0 Stable will be the launch version for consoles. We are working on the exact dates, but know that it's coming soon after 1.0 launch on PC. Consoles will launch digitally only, and certain features like crossplay and generating additional random gen worlds may come in post launch patches. So, what does that mean for the legacy console version owners? Due to the differences between old and current hardware, the Legacy Edition cannot be upgraded and the new version will have to be purchased. However, we are working closely with Sony and Microsoft to provide a discount to the digital Legacy console version owners. We'll have more news on this in the coming weeks. Also, when the new console edition launches, the Legacy version will be delisted from the digital storefronts. You'll still be able to play the old game, but can no longer purchase it. This is being done to avoid product and brand confusion. Today we posted a comprehensive fact alongside our work in progress roadmap image with more details coming soon. Next week, we'll hold the last chance sale. After that, our focus will be on getting 1.0 experimental out, followed by the full 1.0 stable launch on Steam. We'll have more information on 1.0's official release, consoles release, and the roadmap's planned release dates this summer, so stay tuned. When we first set out to make Seven Days to Die, we never thought our game would bring this much interest or have this much success. This would not be possible without the continued support of our incredible community who have stood by us for over a decade, and we thank you for that. We will continue to support Seven Days to Die for as long as our community is hungry for more content. But know this, Seven Days is our team's greatest passion and TFP will continue to make content and add new features and grow this franchise because it's our favorite game too. We look forward to a bright future with many exciting releases. Thank you for watching.